So we talked about the fact that the general way the kidney works is that it takes blood and it changes that blood into two things. One is urine, and that's the stuff that the kidney wants to excrete. And the other is what we can think of as purified blood. So it's this blood minus all the stuff that was packed into the urine. So now let's follow the path of blood through the kidney to get a better sense for how this happens. So here's a kidney. So we know that blood first comes into the kidney through the renal artery, and the renal artery then splits into many smaller vessels, and those smaller vessels fan out towards the outside of the kidney. And then those vessels themselves are gonna split, and those vessels are gonna split, and those vessels are gonna split, and so they branch and divide many, many times, getting smaller and smaller. And here we'll just draw a couple of them until finally they reach the smallest size arterial vessel, and that is called the afferent arterial. Now what does afferent arterial mean? Well, the word afferent means going towards. So you can ask yourself, what is each afferent arterial going towards? Well, each afferent arterial is going towards a little globular structure that we'll talk a lot about. For now, we'll just name it. It's called a glomerulus. And as we'll soon discuss, the glomerulus is where the magic of creating urine first begins. But for now, let's just understand that each and every single afferent arterial, and there are a lot, by the way, because these vessels have branched so many times that we end up with a lot of afferent arterials, actually up to one million per kidney. So each and every single afferent arterial goes towards a glomerulus. And so since there's a million afferent arterioles, that means that there's also a million glomeruli. And another thing you should internalize right off the bat is that this is not just something that the blood can do that's going to the kidney. This is what all the blood going to the kidney does. Every red blood cell that comes through the renal artery is going to end up going through an afferent arteriole and then to a glomerulus.